I will show here two simulations from Matthew Bates based on astrophysical modeling that illustrates star formation in a collapsing molecular cloud. So what we see here is a molecular cloud with a diameter of maybe one light year. You can also see the time. So this is running comparatively fast within thousands to ten thousands of years. There's also a log scale here representing the density. And the brighter the color, the higher the density. And at a certain density threshold, a star is forming. Now you'll also see that the density scale is continuously changing because the density is increasing massively. And then we can nicely see the entire structure of this molecular cloud, which is rotating all the time. And then at some point, in some of the filaments, the density becomes high enough so that stars can form, represented here as these white dots. So and one important thing that is seen here is that in this case there's not only one star forming, but there are many stars forming. And then there are also, in some cases, some stars um, still having a disk surrounding them. And there are other stars, most of the other stars, which have no disk. And in some cases, the disks are dissipating again. So this is quite important because for our solar system, of course, we need a disk around the sun because otherwise no planets can form. So this simulation first shows that um, there are in fact stars that are having disks, like this one here that is now um, moving away with the disk um, dissipating over time. But it also shows that most of the stars do not have any disks. Now the lifetimes of these disks shown here are only of a couple of ten thousands or hundred thousands of years, but we need lifetimes of disks of maybe a few millions of years. So there's also an, a star with a disk uh, moving upwards here, and the disk seems quite stable. But also, again, this is um, only a simulation to getting an idea of what might have happened, and this is quite nicely illustrated here. So I let this run a little bit. So this is um, showing a couple of other features and you can also see there's a lot of interaction between the stars and that this kind of interaction also sometimes leads to the dissipa or to the removal of disks around some stars and then this is the final configuration here. And then there's a second, more recent simulation of a large star cluster here, um, again showing all the various structures developing during this simulation. I just let this run a little bit here um, for illustrative purposes. So again the first stars are forming here and again this is always multiple stars so these are star clusters, so this is a, a bigger cloud here. Again, most of these stars in this case are individual stars, so without a disk surrounding these. And you can see that um, the structure is forming here. These are a lot of filaments. This is almost like a foam. And um, on the boundaries of this foam, there's uh, regions of intense star formation. And this is then again the final configuration here, but this is a real big star cluster and it's really difficult in such star clusters to form something like our solar system. So this is likely not what have happened in our vicinity. This was more the first case. This was just an additional illustration of um, how star formation in general is envisioned, at least by this group here.